Hey y'all, um, it's me, back with another video. Yes, BK, did y'all miss me? Because I missed y'all. Um, it's been about two weeks since I posted. I've been really, really consistent on posting here and growing my platform here. So I do want to apologize for being MIA and not saying anything. Um, if you read by the title, today's just a check-in. Um, just want to check in with y'all. I needed somebody to check in with me, so I'm pretty sure you need somebody to check in with you. And I want to be that person for you. So, yes, um, these last two weeks have been really, really rough for your girl, y'all. I'm not even going to cap. Um, really, like, this whole, I could say, like, the last two months really have been rough, but... It's been up and down, roller coaster, up and down. So I'm not complaining about anything. But the last two weeks have been an eye opener for me. Um, I've been praying and asking God to reveal my heart and reveal my thoughts and um and just um cleanse me of any areas that I'm not my best. And when I pray for that, y'all, He showed you, girl. He showed you, girl where I needed to work at, where I was misstepping, where I was overstepping, where I wasn't doing enough, where I was doing too much. He showed me. He showed me, y'all. So, um, yeah, I feel as though if you pray that prayer, um, don't think it's going to be all peaches and cream and stuff. I feel like at the end of this journey, it will be, but right now, it's not. So, learning that I have been... Um, I know that I've been emotion like sensitive and um emotional when I really learn like to the extent of how I've been letting my emotions control me instead of me controlling my emotions, especially with being reactive and impulsive. And this is something that I thought I would never have to work through or I thought that this was just who I am like it was a personality trait and it was something that I couldn't change I, I feel as though since I've been in college I've been aware of it but I never thought it was one of those things that was on the list that I had to change to improve myself and God told me and showed me that it is so I just learned so much about um being impulsive and being emotionally reactive and how it could really like something it could really turn it could really make something that God sent you that was supposed to be good and nurturing for you it could turn that sour just based off of how you react and then I also learned that um us reacting and us reacting off of just solely based off our eye emotions literally change and form and um, form who we are as people because we are perceived by our actions. When people talk about us, they when people talk about us to other people, they're telling other people what we do, the actions that we take. So if you're always if you're always taking actions that's rooted in emotions, you're really not being yourself. You're not being your true self. So the people around you won't be able to experience you for you. And this is something that I had to learn. The people that's experiencing me right now, they're experiencing anger. They're experiencing hurt. They're experiencing sadness. They're experiencing anxiety. They're not experiencing Yasmin. Because when I'm not in those states of emotions, I don't do those things. I don't think that way. I don't behave that way. And once I realized that, it really, really hurt my feelings. Um, Y'all, yeah, I've been crying asking if you want to know why i ain't been posting no video that's why your girl been crying your girl been hurt your girl been going through it but i'm glad that i can finally see and like i'm glad that i'm holding the mirror up to myself right now and i can finally see that this is not who i am i i can be emotional at times but i'm not an emotional person the true the person that god called me to be is not emotional she's not reactive she's not sensitive she can take con constructive criticism she doesn't feel abandoned or neglected or like she's not worthy that's not me that's not who god called me to be that's who i am currently that's who i am and that's who people see me as because i have been i have been living through these emotions my whole life 
once I realized that that's not who I am and that's not who God called me to be, it pushed me to um, actually get up and do something about it. So I've been doing like this little Bible study, um, been making myself get out the house, one, that's one and then i've been like going to the park and the rec and getting out the car reading my bible journaling and i've been doing that um every day this week so i'm really proud of myself i need to <laughs> give myself a pat on the back literally because i'm really proud of myself and i can i see myself and i am um it's like um i guess i don't know if i'm at peace not a hundred percent like when people say that I don't even really know what they mean by that and that's something that God will show me and teach me what it means to be at peace but I do feel as though like I feel a weight lifted off of me I feel better about myself I feel a little I'm not gonna say a lot more confidence confident because confidence is something that I'm working on and I'm being vulnerable with you guys sharing this because usually I always feel as though especially with YouTube because y'all are strangers at the moment and we're currently like growing this connection i don't want to give y'all too much of my information because i don't know y'all i'm like hold on hold on hold on so a lot of times i'll be feeling like oh i document stuff i still record when i'm going through my hardships but i feel as though y'all don't y'all y'all want the end result Y'all don't want to go through it with me. So I'll be waiting until I get through the end of everything. So I can sit down, make a video, show y'all these little clips of me going through it. And then I can talk to y'all about it. But now I'm changing my method to the madness. And I'm just going to post it. Especially when I feel uncomfortable and I get a little <laughs> in my chest to not post something. I'm especially posting that. So I can get rid of this shame that I have like that i'm not supposed to share my emotions with people and that your emotions is private some of the stuff i know is private and that's with me setting boundaries i have to figure out where i'm going to place my boundaries with you guys but i know that i do want to grow i want to grow with y'all and the only way i can grow with y'all if i can share y'all where i'm at currently in the present moment and this is where i'm at so yeah um i don't know I just was talking about myself just went on a rant but i really do hope you guys are okay i hope you guys are praying i hope you guys are um just living more just give yourself like check in with yourself how have you been sleeping how have you been um how have you been spending your free time have you been bored recently have you been avoiding certain things how have your self-care been have you been showering more or less how have you been eating how have you been exercising just do a mental check-in with yourself to really see how you're feeling and if you're not feeling good that's okay i'm not saying that we always have to feel good but if you're not feeling good then that's the point where you are aware that there needs to be a change you have to do something you have to get some type of control in your life control change the things that you can control and then everything around you eventually will follow suit and that's something that i'm also working on just reprogramming my mind my thoughts how i perceive life because i want positive things to come to me i need to make sure that i'm putting positive things out in the earth and this is not awesome i mean it could be on some manifestation or whatever you want to call it but this is literally how i feel so it's like the manifestation stuff it might seem like a hoax or whatever but the stuff that they're teaching it says in the bible so i'm reading the bible and the bible is telling me this too and then i'm taking i'm listening to them i'm not taking everything taking things with a grain of salt and seeing what applies to me and the tips and the tricks that they're giving you they do align with the bible which is great and amazing because a lot of times i feel as though in society they try to make you they try to make you put yourself in a box and this is my life story actually i want to talk about this real quick and we just gonna go back people try to put you in a box People try to put you in a box. You can't practice manifestation and be a Christian, even though in the Bible they talk about manifestation. You can't do this in that. You can't do this in that. If you're like this, you obviously can't be doing this. People try to do that all the time. They want to put you in a box. And why can't we be fooled? Why can't I be all of them? I'm checking everything off that motherfucker. That's how I feel. I'm what? y'all got me fucked up i'm gonna show y'all that you can i'm gonna show you that you can be bold you can be beautiful you can be quiet you can you can you can shout you can not talk you can be silent you can wear that you can 
be you can be a little provocative and seductive and still be a woman of God. You can express yourself in many different outlets. You can wear your nails and your lashes and your eyebrows, get your hair done, do these crazy colors, crazy with fashion. You can be all of that and still be a woman of God and still be a sinful woman. You know what I'm saying? I feel as though society tried to force people and push people into a box. You're not pushing me in no damn box because I like what I like. I love me some gangster brown and some southern me southern hip hop, but also I, I fucks with the gospel music. I can get down, I can get down with the Gladys Knight and Anita Baker and the Bobby Womack and the Betty Wright. I love that too. So I feel as though I want to be a person and I want to use my voice and show everyone that it's okay. You don't have to be in the box. And if they make you choose or they try to force you to choose, that should push you further to not choose. That's how I feel. So, um, yeah, I hope this helps somebody. It was a ramble, but I feel as though I said something. So if you took something from this, if you got something from this, please come, don't forget to comment down below and just share with me what you got. If you're going through some things and you feel open to sharing it, you can also comment down down below and we can just um support and talk each other through some things so we can lead lead each other to a better life so we can feel better about ourselves thank you for watching this video if you like videos like this don't forget to like comment and subscribe share this video with anybody everybody that you think might like this video stay blessed and stay positive peace